Hey Adam here with a simple and fast review of the Vivor brand mini air quality monitor. This is an 8-in-1 quality monitor. We're going to open it up. We're going to show you some of the capabilities and let you know whether or not it's worth buying. Alright, so getting this out of the box, it's really simple, small, uh, condensed monitor. And underneath you'll have your charging cable. Uh, USB-C, as well as a uh, simple uh, user manual to walk you through all the uh, ways to kind of check this, uh, how to use it, turn it off, all that stuff. So uh, there is a power button really front, front and center. Um, there's not much to it beyond that uh, as far as, you know, uh, how these things uh, operate. So. Uh, Once you turn it on, it is uh, obviously um, got a battery in, inside, so you're going to have to let this thing run. So I'm going to get this charged up a little bit. Um, actually, it's, it's, it's almost fully charged, so I don't even need to do that. But we're going to let it adjust um, as it kind of figures out the temperature, relative humidity, all that stuff, and then I'll walk you through it. All right, so it's been about a minute and a half, and they, they say give it about three minutes to, the, to have this kind of finalize everything that's needed um, and kind of settle. So I just want to walk you through the things that are important to me and what should be important to you, um, especially if you've got any kind of air quality issues in your home or you're worried about somebody with asthma or um, you know a young child or anything like that. So um, this is going to be your particle um, measurement, uh, you know, what's in the air. Uh, obviously, uh, we want low numbers uh, whenever possible. This is going to be formaldehyde. Um, your AQI is your uh, air quality index. Um, you're going to have your temperature, your relative humidity, and then your or, or organic compounds. Um, so all of these you really want to have in low um, low numbers because you're looking for some clean, fresh air. Um, now, if you do get it on and you want to cycle through, if you're uh, if you're looking for PM1, two, PM10, or uh, PM 2.5. It's just a short press. Um, again, try and monitor all these numbers. Uh, each one will have its own kind of uh, different thing. And what I will say is that the uh, the temperature reading right now, um, again, is uh, when you turn it off, you got to give it three minutes because it'll it'll kind of just immediately start at a at a hot spot um, or at a wrong spot. The air is going to come in through here, so you need to make sure that it flows through there. Uh, this is good for a couple hours, uh, but once you um, leave it running this is your charging spot so you'll just kind of need to you know uh, plug your uh, USB-C right into that like so and you do not have an actual um, brick to uh, to put this in so you'll need to plug it into a you know a uh, some some kind of outlet that had allows uh, USBs like this um, and or you'll need a kind of a charging brick um, but overall this it's great display uh, I love the color coded stuff um, I, it, is, it does have some error um, allowance where it's like one or two temp two degrees off on temperature humidity um, and up to like 10% on uh, on some other things so just be aware of that stuff but um, do your research uh, to me really air quality is in incredibly important you don't want to be uh, above 200 for sure but um, you know really really solid uh, value great display and I love that you can you know the size of this as you can see in my hand it's very very small so Totally worth buying, especially again, if you have a kid with, uh, you know, a young young child, or if anybody in your family has asthma or any kind of breathing difficulties, um, this is really good to kind of hold in uh, in a room um, and or their bedroom or something like that to, uh, you know, keep them monitored. So hopefully this review helps, and thanks for watching.